MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. MustangMedic.com. The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. And look, we still have hot chicks in Mustang Medic. Tatiana from Germany, guys. There you go. Hello. Cool. We're going to a little international over here at Mustang Medic. Um, I am now going to take off each one of these push rods and I am going to pull out these uh, lifters that are on the end of each one of these in position. And we are going to number them uh, 1F. 1B. So in other words, front and back, front and back, front and back, front and back. Cylinder 1, 2, 3, 4. Why are you making noise? What happened? Why'd continue, you, continue. Why'd you say mm? You got a message from uh, United Engines. Oh, there you go. That's good news. That's good news, Carlos. I'm talking, Carlos. You're supposed to follow me on video, <laughs> man. He's, so, he's driving me crazy with his editing thing. I'm telling you. <laughs> United Nations is called, guys. So we're going to contact them. We might be dropping off the heads to them uh, tomorrow. That's the plan over here in California. And uh, we're going to investigate every one of these push rods to see if any others are bent, like the bent one we've got here. And potentially, if it's bad news, after we get the heads off today and we see scored cylinders, we're done. It's an engine job. We're going to have to pull the whole engine. We're not making the show because now the engine's out. I'm not even going to push it over there without an engine. So uh, we'll see. When the heads come off, we'll know. And they're coming off today. Gosh darn it. Day two. We got seven days left to make the show, I believe. My math's correct. And now you're going to follow along on the video watching us check each push ride. We're going to document it for Chris so Chris can see it. And we'll see what we got. Oh, one more hot check. Oh, oh, there, there. There you go. Well, hey, Germany, baby. <laughs> Carlos did that. I didn't do that. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Right. You're, he's Carlos is single. I'm married. Okay. No. All right. So let's get to work. I'm married. <laughs> you like this? See, see. German chicks dig Mustang. Mustang. Well, Mustangs, not Mustang medic necessarily, but Mustangs. There you go, guys. That's your dream girl. Everybody's like, everybody's like, give me, everybody's giving me feedback, going, oh, I wish I had a girl that loved Mustangs. There she is. A German chick loves Mustangs. But she's taken, guys. Sorry. Uh-oh. Denied. Again. Yeah. Again. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to loosen up each one of these, and then you guys are going to see us roll each one of these down the table. But this is basically the process I'm doing. I'm going to keep going across like so and get all of these loose, really loose, so I can pluck these uh, push rods out. All right, that's it, Carlos, that's good. All right, we're using a, a Formica table because it's pretty flat. All my kids have broken the glass table, so that's what we gotta deal with. So this one right here is the number one cylinder in the front, in the front uh, <clears throat> push rod. And that one appears straight. Here's the back one, and that also appears straight. So number one, front and back, uh, seem to be straight. Okay, on the number two. All right, so here goes the number one cylinder checks out, and here goes the number two cylinder. Number two uh, cylinder, this is the front push rod. Looks straight, and this is the back push rod on the number two cylinder. All right, so far, one and two are straight. Number three cylinder. I just got to talk to uh, United Engine. They're going to give me a quote, a price, on just the heads and the whole engine. So if the whole engine is such a sweet screaming deal, we'll pull this block out and drive it over there and do the whole engine. Um, but we're gonna, we'll know better what we've got once we get these heads off. So he's going to give two quotes. One's for the block, the, just for the heads, and then one, the other one would be the, the heads and the block, the whole nine yards. So we will see. It's all on the timing. It's all on the pricing. If the right way to do it 
is to do the whole engine and we wait and don't make the show to get this car done right, that's what we're going to do. The show's not that important. Uh, we got enough views out there that we're getting awareness built up. I'd like to be there, but we're going to do the job right or we're not going to do it at all. So that's where we're at. Okay, third cylinder, here we go. Number three, uh, the front rod. Straight to me. Here's the back rod on the three cylinder. All right, so far everything on the passenger side, right? We're on the passenger side? Yeah, everything on the passenger side has been straight. All first one, two, and three cylinders are straight. All right, go to number four. This is uh, the front from the number four. This is the back from the number four cylinder. We're going to go test them for straight. Number four, front. Number four, back. Catch that. Number four, back. Looks pretty darn straight. All right. You'll notice I went to the half inch, guys. I'm sitting there, why am I breaking my butt on the three eighths of these things? Because they're all torqued down. So I got the appropriate tool for the appropriate job. Here comes number five uh, rods coming off. Number five front. Looks straight to me, and here's number five back. All right, number five clears. Number six. Number six. This is a six front. Looks like it survived. This is six back. Think it's bent, guys? <laughs> Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. That's the front. That's the back. Seven straight. All right. So now I'm taking off number eight. Number eight. Straight. Number eight back. Straight. It's only that one uh, push rod. All right, so these are the lifters, and this is what the push rod sits on. I've got a magnet, and I'm gonna pull them out. So, come around this side, Carlos, so you can see on this one. And here is, just, I'm just placing the magnet right in the middle, and then pulling the, there. There is number one front, and it's nice and clean, and inspects fine, no issues. All right, I'm not gonna, bore you with all, all, I'm not going to bore you with showing all of these coming out. There's going to be 16 of them, but I'm going to go through it. I'm going to inspect each one as I pull it out, and then I'm going to place them over here in order, and the next shot you'll see is they'll all be there, and I'll have an update for you if there's any damaged ones. All right, so what we've got is no damage on the lifters. And this little magnet technique, check it out. Look how easy this is with this little magnet technique. I'm plucking these things like they're grapes. And they all look good. And I'm lining them up in the order that they came out. So in case we want to inspect anything in the future, we'll be able to do that. But uh, here's the last one. Boom. And here's an up-close look. On, a, on those lifters, so they all look like this. There's no damage on any of the new lifters, so that's good news. So the, the outcome of taking the lifters and the push rods out is one bent push rod, no other bent push rods. All the lifters look good. Now we're going to inspect the cam. Uh, Chris has a theory it might be broken. Alan uh, is, is uh, not necessarily agreeing with that uh, over Mustang Country. So here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in there and very gingerly and carefully at three different points try to move the cam where I can see it. What we're doing is we're looking straight down onto the cam and I'm just taking this little mallet I'm not going to get on any lobes and I'm tapping to see if the cam moves either direction and it's not. So, no, cam is solid 
in all directions. Yeah, we've got, Chris, we got no movement in the cam. Either way, there's no play. The cam did not move. And there's no break in the cam. It's, it's one solid piece. There's no, there's no movement. So, I kept her all clean. That's it. Cam is good. Cam is, is not moving back and forth. One bent push rod. All the lifters look good. Next part, we'll see. All right, Chris just called me. He's got potential heads that have, I think, been recently redone that we could get at a very, very good price, like possibly under $100 or $100. I will ride out to go get those if Chris is confident that they're going to work. So he's, that, that's a potential. We're still waiting on the price from United, so we're going to make a decision at some point in time today on what we're going to do. So I just gave him this number, and this is where you read the numbers off the heads. So this is good intel. Okay, so when you're looking at your at your head, the heads and you want to find out what kind you've got, it's be, it's on the driver's side behind, uh, right next to uh, the seventh cylinder, or between the, the sixth and the seventh cylinder on a Ford, and there it is. That is, let me turn off the light, it might look better. Yeah, there it is, D3VEA2A, those are the heads that are on this 429. D is in dog, three, V is in Victor, E is in Edward, A is in Albert, two, A is in Albert. So I just gave those numbers to Chris, and he is checking compatibility with the heads that he has just located. Stangmedic.com. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. mustangmedic.com